Defeat your rivals to claim valuable loot. Welcome to Albion TV presents the AO Daily Show, your source of real news in an unreal world, keeping you up to date on the latest news, events, and the great community of Albion Online. Today is Monday, the 9th of September, and I am your host, Chosen. And with me today, as always, are lots of bubbles in Torrid Troth, as well as my co-host, Bogle. How you doing today, Bogle? I have sixth bubbles on my map in Torrid Trow right now. It's ridiculous. Cool. Awesome. Uh, let's spectate that on stream while we do the show. And uh, let's let's do the show today, Shosen. What do we have on the show today? Oh, well, today we're going to be doing a new thing for Mondays. We have decided that from now on, we're going to try to make a show on Mondays that makes it easy for you, the viewer or listener, to go back and go, what happened in the previous week in Albion Line? Wouldn't it be nice if I could just get an overview of everything that happened in the last week in a very short, concise, itty-bitty show that then told me where I could go back and find the information that I want to go more in depth on? Wouldn't that be great? And Bogle, we decided, let's do Albion last week today. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's and do it. i i it just seemed like a good name for a show i don't know oh yeah yeah oh, yeah last week we talk about last week fits perfect but we yeah but we do it today yeah sure yeah. that makes sense yeah yeah i think so i think so so what do we have we, ha we have uh a lot to go through this mm -hmm. week today or last week from today, it's so confusing, Bogle. Like, let's start. Let's start Already right off the bat. Running into trouble. Yeah, Already last week. Problem? Last week, uh, we did not have a Monday show. We can talk about that right off the bat. Last week there was no Monday show. The thing we learned last week on Monday was that shows and takes vacations occasionally, and hmm. uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's important for mm -hmm. the shows and to recharge and uh, get back up his stamina so he can do this very show for a longer time. Yeah. So that way I can do best, great things like, uh, put on the new season rewards, which is what we got on Tuesday, Bogle. That was what we talked on Tuesday, right? We talked about how we have new seasonal yes. rewards. Mm. Right. We have the heretic challenge that started on, I think it was Sunday, whatever the first of September was, together with the Neo referral season, where in the heretic challenge, you can get a heretic card mount skin. And with the referral season, you can get that nice jousting horse skin as well. That is a unique one for your riding horse. But that was not everything in regards to official notes. We also had a PSA for Monday that the scoring times of castle outposts and castles finally were adjusted no to way. 1 UTC and 20 UTC after it kind of uh, got buried in a previous patch, but that made it in finally. Did it, did it really happen, Bogle? Have we confirmed that these are the correct times? Did we do that last week? Did we correct this? Did we make sure it happened? I think so. Nobody said anything yet, so I, I think it's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, another thing that happened as well that we talked about last week that didn't quite happen last week, but th that you wanted to recommend was the Invasion Day stream. Yeah, I, I did. Think, right? It was really good. Uh, well, the EU stream last week was really top notch. Last week's uh, EU stream of invasion had action from beginning to end. It was basically, oh my gosh, I'm not paying attention to Torrid Troth. I, I need to go over there so people can see this massive amount of death. I'm not going to follow anybody, so you're just going to see orange people dying, which is, you know, what I see all day long. You guys will get used to it. You learn to read the capes. That's what you got to read, the capes. But, uh, yeah. EU was amazing. Bogle just linked it in chat. Later on in the show, I'll throw it up in the background, but right now we're going to hang out just right here and just watch some Torrid Trow death. But wow, was EU uh, fantastic. Action from beginning to end. Uh, we won't tell you who won. Don't want to spoil anything for you. Okay. We also had a different, a very different announcement. Mm -hmm. So that is more... 
maybe almost internal to SBI, I would say, but it, it's related to me. So I, I had to put it on the show as well, specifically uh, that the great Clementine is now taking over the wiki project. Mm -hmm. She has the time and the ability to um, spend a lot more on this very project than I ever had in the past. So we did a little handover and Clementine is the new boss of the wiki, the official Abbott wiki. Here as well, the plug that if uh, you are interested in helping out the community and if you are knowledgeable or just interested in writing stuff uh, about Albin Online, Clementine and the Wiki team are always looking for new contributors to the team. And there is also a little bit of a gold reward uh, mm -hmm. in play if mm -hmm. you make it into the team. Yeah, It's not bad when you get a gold reward. I uh, just pulled our raffle for our early bird and uh, we... I know they're going to be really happy that they just won their 750 gold, and that was Star Pink. What's, what's an early bird? Oh, so what I do every day, for those of you who are not aware, or are you listening here on SoundCloud and are like, wait, what are you guys talking about? Somebody just got a raffle? Yeah. Every day, every morning, right before the show goes live, I open up a raffle. Because there's people who, like, who sit around, about 50, 60 people kind of hang out and chat before the show goes live. And so I wanted oh. to reward them for hanging out and coming early. And generally, these people are here almost every single day. And I want to reward them with a, a raffle. And so we do that every single day. I throw one up. And then again, I'll throw one up during overtime. I try not to interrupt too much of the show with raffles because we do do this as a SoundCloud uh, podcast as well and throw it up everywhere else on whatever podcast medium you listen to. But if you guys are in the podcast right now, and you're like, wait, what, what, what? Well, there is an incentive to come watch live, and I apologize. But nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. More news. More news from last week. Yes, we had a little sneak peek about Ooh. updated guild logs. We're already to Thursday. Yeah, we had Gray Mo go on the forums publishing the, a few screenshot and uh, some details about mm -hmm. a planned feature that is supposed to go live in about two weeks or so, where they update the guild logs functionality of the game. And as of that time, you can then see who joins the guild, who leaves the guild, and especially who assigns certain rights to your members. Uh, because it is quite important to know who you know, gave that uh, right hand or that uh, hmm. rank that can withdraw from the guild stash to uh, what character. Uh, mm -hmm. That will be, I think, um, preventing a few theft situations in the future. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, we talked about this more in depth when we came out, but we have seen in the past how this situation comes up uh, a lot. And hopefully the situations will still come up. But now mm -hmm. somebody will be able to figure out who robbed them. And I have a question for you, Bogle. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you think, since we have a gray Mo now, do you think we might get other versions of a Mo? Maybe a red Mo, a, uh, uh. a professor Mo, maybe an immortal Mo. Um, I'm sure some. Like the Hulk. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Again, German. This goes right over your head. Boom. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, just, I'm wondering Chat? if we get. A, I'm wondering if we're going to find out we have a red mo and an immortal mo too. And I'm just going to say the immortal mo is if we get an immortal mo, it's so good. Uh, read the immortal Hulk. It's good. Uh, it's it's okay. there's there's things out there that you know are not just you know Albion. Sometimes they make reference to them in combination. Hmm. What else happened? We have one more thing for what happened last week, Bob. Yeah, the end of summer gold sale. Yeah. Just in time. Over. Just in time. Oh, it's the gold sale's over. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. So, mm -hmm. guys, last week, if you were smart, <laughs> you could have bought gold, and it ended today at ten UTC, which is gosh, a, a really ago. long time ago. Like. <laughs> <laughs> We do this show well, at 18 UTC. If eight hours ago you were still aware that this would be talked about in the future, you could have bought yourself 
gold on the, the reason chosen mm -hmm. the reason why i put this in there because the topic of the rising gold prices yep. was a very dominant one last week a lot of people were discussing the reasons the uh, future the um, inclinations of the rising gold prices we talked about that at length with lupac as well uh, we but did. i wanted to bring it up to refresh the memory. Yeah, we I think we talked about that every single day last week. So if you're really into the gold market, check out last week, especially Thursday. <laughs> Thursday was really when we hit pretty hard on the gold market, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we did cover it quite a bit. Uh, we will probably talk about it again today and again next uh, tomorrow, and we'll talk about it again the day after that. Because right now, for those who are unaware, both of you, Gold prices have gone through the roof. They are back up at 3700 after being all the way down to 3500 on Friday. All right. Right, right. Yeesh. Okay. Okay. That is our recap for official news from last week. And now we get to the community. The news community recap. Section of this oh, show. boy. Yes. So you want to talk about that super big battle? Uh, yeah, well, I have we have a few building blocks of mm -hmm. that thing. We mm -hmm. always look at the largest battle from last week and the largest PvP kill from last week as well. Before we go into the you know guild developments and um, maybe some drama, maybe some war reporting or other newsworthy uh, things, Chosen, why don't you take it from here? I'm confused of where you've left me. But yes, we do have some large battles to look at. And uh, there's a lot that I wanted to talk about this today. But mostly, I'll, I'll do that at the end of the show. Because we had... Uh, the the battle between 1 and 2 is fierce right now. And 1 is being mm. vicious and just attacking and being monsters of the, the world right now. And they are doing everything they can to earn 1. But as we're hanging out here in Torrid Trow, I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the big battles we had last week including this one, which was just a monster of a battle. Uh, is this the one? Yeah, the 122 million total fame. Wow, Bogle. Like, this one, it, this one, no, this isn't, this isn't Torrid Trow. This is a different one, Bogle. Where is this one from? We have no idea, but this is a conflict versus oops one. <gasps> I didn't even see from last, this one from uh, last week, from yesterday, actually. Yeah, I was going to say this is this is not from last week as the ones we've covered. This is a new one. I hadn't seen this one. I thought you were giving me last week's uh, oh, Tor Trow one, match. Chosen, the biggest one. Wow. The, yeah, last week I think the biggest one was uh it was was one oh six or something one oh eight. Mm, um, well. This one's one twenty two, and it looks like we have Blue Army versus TC, and TC walking away with fifty five million. Fame compared to Blue Army's 24, and it looks like Blue Army must have gotten wiped off the map because they had 98 deaths compared to uh, 67 kills. Oof, looks like uh, Maiden BR joined them along with Conflict in that rollover. Wow, poor boys and squad getting squashed by Oops the Hammer. Valentine's. Yeah. For a total duration of about 30 minutes or so with 402 players involved. Pretty big. Pretty only big. only 30 minutes. Like, that's uh, that's what I'm getting by this. Because, like, you see a battle like this, this many sil like uh, this much fame, you know, just being mm -hmm. so, um, just over 100 mil. Usually those are longer battles. Uh, it's something that, you know, you see reinforcements coming in over and over again. This looks like it was just people in big gear and big fights. I'm going to have to look out and find out more information on this. Because I really thought you were going to be showing me the... Um, the, the one from last week that we already covered, and this is just new. But last week we did have a number of, number of fights in Torrid Trow as it went back and forth between Oops and uh, Arch. But I've been watching recently, and it looks like Oops is getting the getting the victories on the regular. I believe right now if I go over here, we're going to see Oops once again and Team Casualty owning more Arch. And that's what they seem to be doing. They're just hanging out here, getting... The PvP all day long. This is uh, probably some good fun. Hmm. I just nice. I hope that Arch just keeps coming and coming and coming. 
Yeah. Uh, we do have to do one more mention for last week's, you know, largest, biggest, best. Mm -hmm. Though, specifically, I want to give a shout out to uh, Small Gamer 32 of BFG, uh, of the Arch Alliance, who managed to uh, get a nice uh, kill on Ni Vimko Vipsak of the uh, Skoyatel uh, guild, where it is 8.4 million fame, and uh, he loses a 8.3 partially uh, excellent set there, which is uh, the biggest one from last weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that leads us into uh, different fights, different um, things that have been happening last week. And this is not as much you know stats wise points wise this is more drama -y than the next things that we have on our list yeah we had a little drama um, last week we did we had uh i don't know how what do you call this like a it's the end of some drama or probably just the beginning of some drama to be quite honest as we have seen tc and tc together again it's huh together again do 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 uh, yeah, just just go watch Muppets in Manhattan. Just play that song on repeat and think of TC and TC together again. Uh, it's so sweet. I, I'm just so happy for them. I. I it, how long until they start e dating again? <laughs> uh, explain this for the viewers who have nope, no clue. Nope. What you're this is about. this is a nope, quick recap. Nope. If you want uh, more information on that, what day did we talk about TC and TC? Tuesday. Tuesday. You can go back and and hear more about TC and TC on Tuesday. Speaking of Tuesday, Scuzzcabell told the world he was quitting on Monday, and then by Tuesday, Scuzzcabell was back in aggressor because uh, Scuzzcabell, our main man, our uh, the the best dancer in all of Albion, the best shirtless dancer in all of Albion, um, with the hairiest dad. Um, he quit Aggressor. He was very upset because he was doing too much. And I, if anybody can say they do too much, Skuzgabel does too much for their alliance and guild. I mean, he's right up there with Derek as somebody who just is their alliance slash guild. I mean, not his alliance anymore, as Aggressor has moved on, and they're now in, they're in life, they're not in... Pelotas or whatever aggressor guild slash alliance has been made around that guild. But he, he left for a little while and then he got flooded with positive comments. People saying, oh. we love you, Scuzz. Come back to us. You are the heart and soul of our guild. We need you to dance. Without you, <laughs> we are to nothing. Dance. Huh? To dance? To really? dance. To dance. Okay. Dura dura, okay. man. Dura dura. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a way of life, and if you don't have your man dancing before GVGs and ZVZs, you're just not going to be able to to have victory, and that's what Scuzz Cabell provides above and beyond his leadership, beyond his willingness to provide the hours uh, to um, to do what is necessary to get banned from every streaming service. Beyond that, he also provides. Like a, I don't know, just a motivational spirit to his guild. And they needed Aww. that. And he's, he came back. And, yeah, later in the same day that he left, he was GVGing for them again. So it was it was a quick leave and quick comeback. And we were glad to see him back in the in the fold. Uh, Thursday, we had in some official news. We had uh, Boom Slaying Gaming. Now let's make sure that I uh, recommend people the correct streamers today. We 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 did uh, <laughs> we recommended a few streamers on Thursday in honor of Boone Slang Gaming. One of which you should not watch. Don't watch that one. If you watch <laughs> Thursday's show, you will know which streamer not to watch. It's not you're not allowed to do it. His information is old and it will not make you any money. But. Boom Slang Gaming, pretty interesting guy. We enjoyed uh, watching his tutorial videos. Uh, if you if you need to get started in uh, Albion, you need some help, need some tips. Thursday's show, we had a lot of tips and tricks for you uh, folks in Albion, and you can go hang out there, watch it, learn about some streamers, including Boom Slang Gaming. All right, all right, all right. 
Thursday, we also talked about what we talk about for uh, two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> Wait, what? Two hours and 45? Okay, no. it was 15 minutes. It was 15 minutes, but it felt longer. I am doing a little bit of a public knowledge project where I uh, provide some information uh, about a tool maker in Carleon where I collect the amount of food I uh, put into that thing, how much taxes uh, I make over the week, and then we discuss these numbers together sort of as part of the Thursday econ uh, show. Yeah, um, we will continue that project for the next, I think, two weeks at least. And then see if we have a Mark II version after the next auction cycle. But um, we had war going on, which is for some people more interesting than the quote unquote uh, boring stuff that happens Ooh. in Carleon. The stuff that you see now on uh, the screen and on Twitch, but also the fight and the fights that have been going on in Albion. Why yes. don't you tell us what happened there? So what we do from in, breaking from news. invasion to today is what you want to have a, a quick overview. Uh, I, that's a long. Well, um, well, well, no, that's just one week. It's only been a week, Vogel. It feels like it's been okay, long. Well, but what we saw sure. was if, and I hate to to click off of this action that you guys are enjoying right now as we see, geez, AW Gaming come and join the fun. Daddy joined in, but Cumbria was the the land of events this past week as we saw what was. An aggressor homeland over in Southern Cumbria be completely eradicated by oops, as now Money Guild and uh, say my Metatron have taken over completely. Aggressor lost ten defenses yesterday or last week, including one yesterday for uh, a shield on their home plot of Greytop Mound, which they didn't even show for Bogle. They didn't even show for. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, I mean, 10 is a lot already. For, yeah. for the whole of last week, who was who attacking Aggressor? Money Guild? Money Guild. Money Guild well, Money Guild and Say My Metatron mostly. It was mostly oh, okay. Money Guild. They have... So, is Aggressor in trouble? Is uh, Aggressor is gone. Week? Aggressor is gone. Huh? And you know who else is gone? Gone, 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 gone? Like, gone. Like, their home plot maybe got, like, dinged for a shield. But you know who mm -hmm. really lost a home plot? And doesn't even uh, have one anymore? Lost all CIR, their home plots. Crimson, Crimson Imperium yes. Reborn, yes. All their home plots are gone. June took over their uh, corner of Cumbria, started working towards Mercia, was doing work, but then Money Guild flexed its muscle, g kicked them out of mm. Craig Medade. Or no, it's not, it wasn't Craig Medade. It was uh, Craig Dale. Craig Dale was where we saw some June last week. Kicked them out. Forced them to defend themselves heavily. And now today, today, this is the news for today, Bogle. Mm -hmm. Let me let me pull up the exact notes on this because this is crazy. You have 10 war camp attacks and two tower attacks. Three war camps in Siluria. One war camp in Mercia. Six war camps in Cumbria. A home plot attack against Aggressor and their second shield. And a resource tower attack in... Uh, Soluria. That is all money, well, mostly Money Guild versus June, with two of those matches being against Aggressor. But that is some serious aggression from Money Guild, the first place ranked guild in our season rankings, against mm -hmm. June, number two. And Money Guild is continuing to pull away. The last time we looked, they were believe 26,000 points away they're at 46 now Pogel 46,000 wow. points um Black Order is 50,000 points away from June mm -hmm. and it's it's 30,000 below that is aggressor and then you have a block of of teams around there but right now Money Guild is running away with it hard uncontested basically I mean June yeah June's fighting them every day but they can't they can't match them in the open world right now. June cannot match Money Guild and TC in the open world. And now that TC is two TCs instead of one, I don't know if anybody can stop this <laughs> total control. Yeah, that's TC3, total control. Wow. Yeah, you heard it here first. Just last week, we thought that June was getting a foothold in Mercia. June mm -hmm. was 
you know, catching up on Money Guild. June was was doing all the work necessary to go for that competing spot for first place. But over the weekend, over the last few days, they really, really got shown their place, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, Money Guild pushed away. And now I am worried that it's too much, that June is already too far behind. But... I, I've heard uh, some rumors that they they might still be trying, but it but it's hard. Have you heard anything there in in regards of that race? Well, for I, first? I I talked to Eric Ware today briefly, mm-hmm. and was like, "Dude, what's going on?" Uh, it's just get, they're just getting attacked on the open world, and they lost all of their their war camps. They just got totally shrecked. Um, mm-hmm. and it just too much for them in one day. They do not have the overworld presence to deal with it, and they're going to try as hard as they can to make hay with the GVGs they have coming up. Now, they this is not the first time they've had multiple GVGs in a day. We've seen them time and time again have over five GVGs at a time, mm-hmm. but this is going to be very, very difficult That's for June to hold. Piece. Yeah, this is... I, I think Money Yield's going to run, run away with this, and uh, predictions are that they're going to take Cumbria, and it might not be until we see another coalition formed to deal with this. No, <laughs> to deal with oops to again. To deal with oops again, because right <laughs> now, unless people are just going to let them run away with it, which is what it looks like, the world is just going to let them run away with it. Because June can match Money Guild in GVGs, if not equally close to it. You know, like they they can they can put up a, a match. They cannot match them in GVGs and ZVs is at this point. And it, there's just nothing they can do. They're going to be hitting, getting hit over and over and over and over so, again. So we're going from why are you running to why are we running to why are you running away? With yeah. The season? Yeah, there, yeah it's, it's, well, without the hmm. other, like, uh, global ZVZ force even participating in the season at this point, it's making it very easy for TC uh, to take control of this season's ZVZ battles, and really they're they're handing a lot of it to Money Guild. And there's there's probably reasons for this. They know that coming up, there's seasons where they're going to be um, hmm, how do I say? It's going to be easier for them to gain first, if you will, because of the way their situation is built. But they will need help. They won't be able to do it without a GVG team. And that's where Money Guild comes in. And if Money Guild can get its third gem, I see Take Care having a real shot at it. Like uh, as Money Guild supporting them uh, with getting first. Do you think that that is? It's hard for me to say that. I don't know if it's part of the interest. I have a hard time believing that Derek will let somebody else in his alliance take first. I just have a hard time believing that it'll happen especially when when blue army blue army is trying again right right? i mean as long as blue army is not going for the fourth gem then i could see money guild being content but at the same time they are then equal and there's another season reason to push it again Hmm. i i wanted to pick up one thing uh from chat before we uh can maybe end this today. Um, there is some comments that a bunch of Oob's guilds are helping Money Guild to push their rank. Specifically, the thing that we discussed last week as well, that if uh, you recall the the um, possibility to merc for other guilds was taken out a while back from the game, mm-hmm. specifically to merc for other guilds in GVGs. However, that is still possible in crystal GVGs. So you can invite other guilds to do the crystal matches for you. And in that case, you will receive the season uh, points for, for a win there. So we hear that some people are saying, um, you know, that a few of the oops guilds are helping Money Guild to push there. Mm-hmm. Um, which you know may be a thing where for June or Black Order that they can't, simply can't do. Um, so that's another factor that's also coming into play here. No, I, I I think you're right, and I also think that the 
the not murking for other guilds has, I don't know, reinforced the oops mentality of everybody does it for money guild. Hmm. But I mean, if you look at it, I'm, it, there is Cumbria. Cumbria is very much a, you know, split between say my Metatron and money guild. So money guild is allowing another member of its alliance to get some points. So, I mean, not a whole lot. Oh, well. But some, oh, wow. you know? Yeah. But it's going to be interesting. Oops is the, the one alliance right now where everybody is working towards getting the, the head of the alliance, its third gem, its crown, you know, getting it its victory. Whereas everybody else seems to be much more fighting for their own things. Like, when you look at Daddy... And you have number one is Money Guild. Number two, three, four, Daddy. Wait, Black Order joined Daddy? Oh, that's new. Yeah, that's new. Black Order joined okay, Daddy. Cool. Huh. When did that happen, guys? Chat, what day of the week did that happen in? <laughs> Somebody says three days. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So Friday after I went off the air... Black Order joined Daddy. Uh, you got AW, like then you got phrasing, bed bunking. Then AW Gaming, Daddy, vastly superior, Daddy. But all these, hmm. all these Daddy guilds are working for their own. You know, they're working on their own. Whereas, where's the next? Where's the next retry? I mean, we have a little bit of a coalition Same brewing there, already, don't we? Yeah. Well, hmm. what does it say about that coalition if, if it can't? You know, I mean. If it can't stop war camps. Hmm. Okay? Uh, you guys got to be able to stop war camps. Like, I was told that Win was only going to let in good guilds. And when I heard that, I was like, well, if they only let in good guilds, only good things should happen, right? <laughs> they lost all well, their obviously. war camps. They lost all their war camps. That's what happened. Uh-oh. Well, chosen. Uh, but since we are out of time, how would you, in uh, a few words or sentences, summarize this last week? Uh, well, it was back to action, is what I would call it. It was back to action. Um, we had seen a little bit of slowing down before invasion, but the action picked up. And we didn't even get to talk about the place where the most interesting action has occurred, which is Anglia. Anglia is the mm -hmm. most interesting this last week. And you can go and listen to some stuff that happened in Anglia uh, and specifically with Launchpad, if you go and listen to Albion News 24 Wednesday, uh, Wednesday Sunday episode, uh, they had Zorn on. Well, they had Lugsy of Zorn on. I was on there. They had the the GM of Launchpad. Did a bunch of good interviews, but it's mostly just me chatting your ear off. As uh, I think Lugsy had a GVG, and uh, it's 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 interesting. But Oops is running away with it. That's what I would say. Last week was Oops is putting down their dominant thumb they're saying mm -hmm. we're that good we've been doing it this long and without our main challenger we're just going to walk away with this uh derek has proven time and time again he will lose until you guys are sick of winning and then he'll be able to win again and he lost until squad was sick of winning and <laughs> uh now he's winning again wow. well no that's that's a, that's something he said yeah, I'm, I'm just I, quoting the man okay I'm just okay. quoting the man. Okay. He he said that he would be, like, when he was fighting against Familia, I think that's who it was, for 13 weeks in a row, he said that he'll get, like, you will get sick of winning before he gets sick of losing. You cannot beat this man like this. He will keep coming back. And apparently he did. He's coming back for another season. He's going to go for his crown. All right. Okay. But we still have half a season to go. The... The interesting, final, we are not in the final stretches yet. We mm -hmm. still have to see how that stamina will We're at the halfway point now. We're, we just hit the yeah. the, the week You're one right. of the halfway yeah. point. Yeah, cool. Mm. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning in on our Monday show. We will be back in a few minutes with the overtime show. But if you don't tune in for that, you can catch us Monday through Friday right here at 18 UTC on twitch.tv forward slash Albion online. Or anytime you like at soundcloud.com forward slash Albion TV. We're also on YouTube. Yes, youtube.com forward slash Albion TV. Bogle is working up a storm over there, making sure to get all our old episodes out there. So if you 
you know, you want to watch them and you know, Twitch is just being a pain in the butt for some reason, you can go to YouTube. YouTube uh, does those videos a little bit smoother. And where else can you see us? That's it. Oh, well, you can also oh. not only listen to us on SoundCloud, but also if you search for LB on TV or the AO Daily Show on any of your favorite podcast apps or providers, iTunes, uh, Spotify, Google Play, we are there. And you can listen to us while you are on your way to work, while you're supposed to be working, maybe, or just while you are grind grinding out that next sweet tier of Albion gear. Mm -hmm. And I, that's it from me today, Shilson. Let's uh, get ready for overtime. Yeah, I forgot one more thing. You can catch us on Tuesday through Thursday with Albion Live, where we'll be doing live uh, GVG broadcasts with live commentary as well with Tazik and Lupak. All right. Boga, let's go take a two-minute break. I will be back, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay classy, Albion. <laughs>